love to garden, to grow seeds, make cuttings and nurture plants to their full potential. As I do this, I want to share my tasks and experiences with you in the garden patch. Hi, I'm checking out my Azalea rhododendron cross. It has flowered amazingly for the last two weeks and I'm really enjoying its blooms. Welcome to this episode of The Garden Patch. Today I'm going to be picking some beans and in this episode I'm going to be checking out a cactus and its amazing night flower. Also going to be potting up some strawberry runners uh, into new plants. So let's start off with going and collecting some of these fresh green beans that have been growing so well in my garden. I planted these dwarf beans in mid-January straight into the garden. I was wise this time and covered the newly planted seeds with netting to stop birds and cats messing up the soil. I planted nine in a polystyrene box and nine in the garden. They began flowering almost a month after planting. I religiously watered the beans and regularly fed them a diluted brew of horse manure soup and water. Two weeks after flowering, I had my first pick of 250 grams. My biggest pick so far has been 375 grams. I usually pick around 150 to 200 grams each time, which makes a nice meal. These dwarf beans are tasty and have produced a great crop in a short space of time. I will definitely be planting them again. One evening I noticed a piece of cactus I was trying to grow had a big bud on it that looked like a flower. As I was about to come inside for the night, I saw the bud had started to open. I knew nothing about cactus flowers and night blooming, so found it interesting that a flower would open as it got darker. I put my headlamp on and took photos, wondering what would happen next. Before I went to bed, I returned to check on the cactus flower. flower had fully opened. It was so beautiful and clear and full of incredible detail. Really quite spectacular. I called the family to come and see this amazing flower. Finally I tore myself away from the spectacular sight and waited to see how the flower would behave in the morning. In the light of day, the flower appeared to be closing up and by the end of the day, it was back to its closed bud. That was it, one night of flowering. I thought about heading off to the city's botanic garden to see if there were similar cactuses growing there. garden and 
trying to find out which one is like my cactus at home. So let's have a look. I found this one, which I think is a pretty close match to my cactus. The buds look similar and the spines on the cactus also look like the ones on mine. When I looked up cactus night bloomers, I discovered night blooming cereus. They originate from South America, so this could include Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay and Argentina. At the Botanic Gardens, it said that this cactus was from Mexico. I have certainly had my eyes open to the world of night blooming cactus flowers. As I moved away from the rock garden, I got to see all these cute little quail uh, walking along over the rocks on a mission to go somewhere. As I was leaving the botanic garden, I spotted the silk floss tree. It flowers for a short time and I was super excited to view it today in all its pink glory. It reminds me of a cloud of pink candy floss from afar. Now it's back to my strawberry patch and looking at some strawberry plantlets I've grown. I'm happy with this. I have got one, two, three, four new strawberry plants uh, that have grown from the runners. So that's a great start for a new row of strawberries. I'm just going to make some more plants of strawberries. I have a bunch of different varieties of strawberries in my garden. They have all jumbled together over the years and now I don't know which are which. I like to grow on the runners each year to increase my strawberry pack. here in the glass house and just put some more strawberry plantlets into um, these holes. I've got a few in here already but I've just put a few more and I'm going to see if they will produce strawberries over the winter. They haven't done so well here during the summer because it's just been too hot in the glass house but you never know. They might do better in the winter time.
this little guy turned up in my grass patch and I got in nice and close to see what he was up to. He looked like he was really trying to get something out of the lawn and he was going for gold trying to get it out. He was so super cute I had to video him and show him to you. Who gets to see a baby hedgehog up close like this? So, so cute. We discovered this little hedgehog really liked to eat meat, so they must be carnivorous. He ended up having a new home because our garden was not really a suitable spot for him, but he was so cute to watch. We've just had a little bit of rain and my tank is now over half full which is really awesome because it was almost empty. Hey I hope you've enjoyed the episode today. I've enjoyed um, lots of it and it has been great uh, to get into the autumn season. I feel like it's a time of transition and the garden is starting to wind down after summer. Well that's all for now. Uh, See you next time. Bye.